Hey Master Wong, this is Jonathan Bluestein. Thank you for having me on your channel. I have a few questions for you. You are a senior practitioner and teacher of Chen Taiji and Wing Chun. These are two fascinating Chinese martial arts that seem to be very different on the surface. Perhaps you can tell us a bit about the similarities and differences between them, and of how each of them has helped you develop a deeper understanding of the other. To under answer your question there, it's not a straightforward question. It's a long goddamn question. I can sit there forever and answer the question. Now the Wing Chun, of course you understand, is slightly different to the Tai Chi, especially Chen style Tai Chi. Chen style Tai Chi is a, more, a lot more um, dynamic movement and, 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 uh, uh, and the way they do them is different because they use a lot of body movement. The Wing Chun one, a lot of straight line, hack, body positioning, everything is more like uh, understand about static uh, move. So for instance, give you a good, quick example. The Wing Chun just start, just start normally like this, hand, back, punch, and hand position, punch like this. Everything very static, uh, hand position, very static line like this, yeah? Okay, movement like this. It's slightly different to the the Tai Chi side, when you start to work with this uh, kind of movement, the hand, cross, arm, position. So that's movement like this, movement so you can attack and do this kind of movement when you're attacking, using for the close quarter. Now the Tai Chi on the other hand, they emphasize health, well-being, as well as uh, movement. So when they start with the Tai Chi, the movement is more very dynamic, the Chen style. Your hand position is slightly different, cross, and then we line with the hand, change, slightly different to the way the, uh, the Wing Chun is. So when you're working with the hand, body, hand, chain, a lot of emphasized movement here, line of it, yeah? Hand, positioning, low center of gravity, twist, body, turn, hit, attack, then twist, okay? So Yang style, uh, Chen style, and the Wing Chun is a big difference. Now, it's a Wing Chun helping to use in Tai Chi. The Wing Chun not helping, but it helps you into the combat side, okay? Because into the fighting side, you use Wing Chun to get in. And you're using a Tai Chi to finish it off, maybe. Try to stamp it down the ground. Try to hurt your opponent. Or you might use it to do the, uh, the Tai Chi, help on the Wing Chun side. It can be useful if you know how to use it because a lot of time when you get attacked you use a lot of low center of gravity so the Tai Chi will help you to understand that and know how to flow with the body so if you use it it depends on each person yeah some people good at it you can make the movement work and some people rubbish at it then you can make nothing work uh, it's all the individual okay all individual and when you're working we see a lot of them uh, Wing Chun people use on the fighting side, they use for close quarter. But when you combine the Tai Chi into it, it's completely different, okay? It, it's a change, everything is changed, the mindset is changed because you can't fit something static to something flow like this together. It just it don't work, you know, it just don't go in. So you're going to change the mindset to make it work. So that's what is it. Uh, do you understand the Wing Chun well? It all depends. You can't take learning one Wing Chun for someone else's and learn some Tai Chi for someone else's and then try to combine them and try to make it work. It's going to be impossible because what happens is a person doing it is doing it differently. So it's going to be different for them to make the movement work. Okay? So you have to train with somebody that understanding it so they can combine them in easier. Okay? So is that helping you to understand it? I'm not really sure. So maybe confusing a bit more. Is that answer the question for you? I think it would also be awesome if you could show us ways in which you combine Chen Taiji and Wing Chun in combat. To answer the question there, what you can do on this movement to work, it can't be like attack coming in here, like <laughs> here, here, here. <laughs> that can be done in one move, that like this. So the first you can use in the, the Tai Chi hand, line, body, hit, <laughs> and then this hand cross like this, like the chop, bam, chop coming in, and then knee. That can be done, the job for you, okay? That can uh, be combined. Uh, Sometimes when you're doing this kind of movement here, it's hard to have a different kind of mindset. It needs to be like the JKD mindset. It's difficult to combine them in Pacific because it, 
He can do anything. Okay, so we just do the basic here to show you. He can do attack coming there, can do boom here like that, boom boom boom, boom here like that, and then we go back here and then come back like that, and then we get rid of uh, the person can be done. Sometimes it's difficult. Why? Because I can't be here. I hit him, boom 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 here. I want to finish it off. I can go like that and try to finish him up, uh, push him out of the way, get rid of them. Oh, sometimes maybe when he attack, boom 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 here, I can be boom like that to get rid of him, like move him somewhere maybe. Um, some time can be a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Here, then course, and then down here. Now I can attack him while down here by uh, Tai Chi movement, low central gravity, arm break, head pin, body hit. That can be done in that kind of movement. It depends. Okay, think with that. It all depends how you use it onto the movement. Combine them. You have to be able to use them in such a way as a different kind of mindset and depend on the person. If you can use them, you can put anything on. If you cannot use them, it's very difficult to mix them together because you want soft, one hard. So, and one new it for dynamic and one for not. So it's just important to understand that. Uh, most of the time when you use that, you change your mind to become a JKD mindset, meaning learn to express yourself, to make sure you can use the movement well. Is the answer to the question fair? Thank you, and may your Gong Fu continue to inspire people worldwide. Thank you, Jonathan, for the offer of for this book, for interviewing me. Now, on this particular thing you're asking, it's quite a lot of things you can talk about on the Tai Chi side and the uh, Wing Chun side. On the Tai Chi, we can talk a lot of different things more about. Um, time is short, so I cut down short. If anybody wants information, you can go into our Tai Chi side to find out. And same thing, Wing Chun got a ton of stuff about Wing Chun in there. You can find out. If anyone wants to ask me about anything into the... Um, uh, talk about answer any question that by all means contact us and I'm glad to ask that uh, answer you and Jonathan is uh, Author of this particular book here research of martial art. Yeah, it's quite interesting This book is available on Amazon So if you've got time anybody want to have a look at this particular book got time uh, Check out on Amazon and you can see all the detailed information on this particular book here Talk about all different thing about martial art, different thing in there Tai Chi, Wing Chun, different kind of martial art in there So you got an idea so take this opportunity there to say Tony from that interviewing me and he have a nice book Quite good actually because it's Good cover, nice, everything in there. Got time, go to Amazon and check them out. I'll see you later, people, and have a nice day.